Martha and Pizza Eckhart have fulfilled a dream in Castle. Their small hotel on the edge of town is often booked out for weeks. Every room has a motto connected to Casa. This one is the 12 dancing princesses, as in the Grimm Brothers fairy tale. This one refers to an artwork by Josef Beuys. And this boat is a remnant of the documenta. The rest of the artwork can be seen in town. Sometimes the hotel becomes a stage itself and hosts events. Back when we were at university, my wife and I used to jokingly argue about where we'd live later on. And my wife always had an unbeatable argument, Kassel swings. That doesn't just mean it has a lively music scene, but that the art and culture scene is very well networked and diverse. It's fun living here, especially because Kassel is a very green town, whether it's the forested areas around Kassel or the lovely parks here in town. We go through Karlsauer Park to Pizza Eckhart's first recommendation, the Neue Galerie Museum. It presents art from the 19th century to the present. Sleds, blankets, flashlights, the original of its counterpart in the hotel. The pack is an artwork by Josef Beuys, created for this room in the museum. This installation by Mario Merz is called Isola. It was in the 1982 documenta. One focus of the collection is abstract painting with few colors. Depending on how you feel, you can choose what you want to look at. And there's the great aspect that documenta purchases are on view, so you can trace the history of the documenta here. And since the building's renovation, the use of light has also been wonderful. It took six years to renovate and refurbish the building before the Neue Galerie reopened in 2011. This facade with a grid structure is typical of the 1950s and an integral part of Castle's cityscape. It's an architectural style that's finding increasing numbers of fans. Pizza Eckhart has long been one of them. The staircase in the Aoka building is his second recommendation. The freestanding stairs spiral elegantly up three stories. It's an example of the lightness of this architectural style, which consciously made stucco and ornamentation a thing of the past. I love the 1950s. It was a time when, at least in design and architecture, free forms and new colors were in demand, when people were open. And that found expression in architecture, in many lovely buildings in Kassel. I'm especially fond of the staircase here in the Aoka building. If you want to view it, you can take a guided architectural tour of the town. Pizza Eckhart's final recommendation leads to a popular recreational area on the edge of town. Here in the forest thickets, almost hidden, is the artist necropolis. We're here in a special part of the Habichtswald, which is more than just natural forest or a hiking trail or art in a public space. This here is a cemetery where artists of documenta standing create their own graves during their lifetimes. 
an art project and a cemetery. The idea originated with documenta artist Harry Kama. Once they've been created, the graves are left to themselves. They're meant to return to nature. Art is everywhere in Castle, and time and again, it takes us by surprise. Mm-hmm.